Welcome to Mendeley video course. You are watching video number 7, Creating a Mendeley Library, Adding a PDF File. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a PDF file or a folder containing several PDF files into the Mendeley Library. Let's go for live demonstration. In the Mendeley desktop, you can either go add and save file or the same option is also available under the file in menu bar. So you can say add files and then browse which file you want to add. Let's say I want to add this particular global TB report 2017. So I click on that and say open. As you can see here, this has been added. But if you look at the bibliographic details, there seems to be a lot of errors here. I can already see that, no, this is not a book. This is a report. I have to change that. Now, the title of this particular thing is not tuberculosis. It's Global Tuberculosis Report. 2017. Author. Author is not Global Tuberculosis Report. So it's World Health Organization. So if we have already typed the author name, that will be available in the drop down from which we can choose. Year is 2017. That is correct. Page number. You can enter the page numbers. If there is an abstract, we can copy paste the abstract. If it is not, we will just leave it for the moment. City, once again, Geneva, Switzerland, I can type that. If we want a URL, I can get the URL. So I can go. So this is the URL. Copy the URL and paste it. And the rest of them seems to be fine. I also got a message saying that we found one other PDF in this folder. Would you like to review them for import? <clears throat> we can say review and bring it here or I do not work in this case, so I'm going to say no thanks. So this is the way you can import a PDF file. Again, very important thing to note, the import of PDF, the bibliographic details is not perfect. There are usually a lot of errors. So you will have to check for those errors manually and fix it. So otherwise, <clears throat> you know, you will have a um, a reference with a lot of errors. Okay, so now let's look at how to add a folder. Either go to File, Add Folder. So this is one way of adding a folder. The other way is you can simply drag and drop the whole folder. So for example, the folder I want to add is here. I'm going to drag and drop the folder into the middle panel, mid panel of the Mendeley desktop. And there were three documents in that folder. All the three documents, all the three PDF files have been imported. Now, once again, whenever we import a PDF file, you have to check whether it has done properly or not. How do we do that? So I can open the PDF file and then start looking at this. So this is a journal article. That's correct. It says the multi-drug resistant tuberculosis diagnosis and treatment cascade in Bangladesh. That appears fine. Authors. We'll have to check all the authors. If it's all come out properly. Looks fine. Journal name plus one 2015. Is that so? Yes, 2015, then volume, 
10, issue 6, and page numbers 1 to 10. Actually, if you see here, the page numbers is not quite 1 to 10. It's, it's different, so we have to correct this. E01, 2, 9155. Then you have the abstract and so on and so forth. Okay. So again, the point I'm making is that if you import a journal article, make sure you go through all the bibliographic details and verify, review it, and correct them. Okay. Usually, what I've seen is whenever that is a journal article, the import of metadata or bibliographic details is usually fine. But if it's a report or a document or a guideline or a, some such uh, document, then it's not so correct. So, for example, here we have a manual. So, I can open this. So, this is a manual, PubMed Search and Reference Management Manual. A training manual for healthcare providers, the authors are International Union Against TB and Lung Disease and QMED. And if you see here, there are lots of errors. So the title is not quite correct. So I will just fix these things PubMed search and reference management. Going to so it's a training manual for healthcare providers. I can just copy, paste, training manual for oh, something wrong here. Let me try it. Training. Okay, providers. 16 authors as i said this yes yeah so let me just international tuberculosis and lung disease i'm going to choose this as an institution next qmed foundation also as an institution so i've got the two authors it is not a journal in fact this is not a journal article so i have to change this first as probably a report and there are the number of pages i can do that about 130 pages 1 to 130 can add other details if required so i'm just going to say new delhi india date accessed right today's date there is a url which is there you can write otherwise that's it so now this uh, looks fine so this is International Union Against TB and Lung Disease, QMED Foundation. The title is PubMed Search and Reference Management Training Manual for Healthcare Providers 2016. So please remember, it's very convenient to bring in PDF files, but extraction of metadata or bibliographic details is not always perfect. Ensure you check it, review it, and then make edits accordingly. Let me show you what is a watch folder. In Mendeley, you can designate any of the folders in your computer as watch folder. Mendeley keeps a watch on this folder and if any document is newly added, that will be automatically extracted and brought into the Mendeley library. Let us see how to set this up. Go to Tools, Options. And there are several tabs. There's one called Watched Folders. Now here, I'm going to make under C Drive, there's a folder called Temp. I'm going to tick this as my Watch Folder and then say Apply. Okay. 
Now let me go to the temp folder. This is currently empty. I'm going to put these documents, all of these, into my temp folder. And now see what happens. As soon as I put, I copied and pasted those documents in my watch folder, Mendeley has been able to catch those and extract all the bibliographic details of those articles into Mendeley library. Again, this is similar to bringing a PDF file, importing a PDF file. So you will have to check for all the bibliographic details, if it's correct or not, before accepting. In the next video, we are going to demonstrate how to import references directly from PubMed. Thanks for watching.